Ladies and gentlemen, we are now honored to ask you to please rise up and give a big round of applause to welcome to the Abyss 2016, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte of the Republic of the Philippines. Chairman Odette Savan Navong, the other distinguished leaders of the Asian Business Advisory Council, members of the Philippine delegation, our Ds of the Asian Business Awards, the business community, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. I thank the Asian Business Advisory Council and its chairman for the opportunity to participate as a speaker in this year's ASEAN Business and Investment Summit. I attach great importance on how laws are crafted and implemented to bring good governance and order and to provide an enabling environment for the country's progress and prosperity. From my perspective, for an ASEAN to be a global player, it must do the following. First, ASEAN must ensure the effective implementation of various agreements concluded through the years. I note that since the establishment of ASEAN in 1967, several Key economic agreements have facilitated regional economic integration of natural persons and mutual recognition arrangement of certain professions. It certainly look, took an immense amount of effort and compromise as member states share their commitment and political resolve to accommodate and reconcile national interest with the regional aspiration of a one nation Asian community. On the part of the Philippines, our economic focus will be towards the promotion of inclusive growth through innovation in four areas, micro, small and medium enterprises, e-commerce, youth and women entrepreneurship. Second, Asian must, Asian must hasten the growth and integration of sub-regional cooperation frameworks in the ASEAN. At the moment, we have the Greater Mekong sub-region, the GMS, the Indonesia-Malaysia-Thailand Growth Triangle, and the Brunei-Indonesia-Malaysia-Philippines East ASEAN Growth Area, or otherwise known as the, B, the BIMP IAGA. Hailing from Mindanao, I commit to promote BIMP IAGA. We intend to open up our other major islands like Mindanao and the Visayas with high quality backbone infrastructure. We will accelerate infrastructure spending by improving national roads and bridges, such as the Mindanao Logistics Infrastructure Network and other network plot master plans, including the inter-island linkages. We hope to further expand a roll-on, roll-off facility to Davao, General Santos, and Bitong in Indonesia. Third, ASEAN must provide 
support of the micro, small, medium enterprises. We will work and collaborate with Asians, ASEAN in helping the MSES look for all ways to connect them in the countries of the ASEAN and the world. We will work on enhancing the policy and regulatory environment, providing an affordable and innovative digital platform and accessing best practices and financial resources. Fourth, we must engage the world in a robust way in economic sphere. ASEAN is making further progress in fulfilling its commitments to the ASEAN Free Trade, the FTA, while the ASEAN's FTA is with Australia, New Zealand, China, Japan, India, and Korea are mutually beneficial, signifying Asia's ability to carry its weight in the area of economic partnership. With the establishment of the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, or RCEF, we are now gaining further momentum in November 2016. The Philippines will host the RECP senior officials to further improve the pace and substance of our negotiations and conclude a comprehensive and high-quality RECP agreement in a timely manner. Finally, ASEAN needs stronger resolve and action to combat transnational crime, one of the most difficult and complex problems that we face in the region, and a pressing concern for the Philippines. The trade in illicit and illegal drugs in particular has emerged as a pressing problem for our countries, undermining social cohesion and the rule of law and the socio-economic program of a country. Recent events to have shown terrorism and violent extremism rearing its ugly heads and threatening to pull us back from our onwards advance to progress. We shall not be cowed. We will press on. We must redouble our efforts to concentrate on intelligence gathering, prevention, interdiction, arrest, and prosecution. We should act together in concert to ensure that economic gains we made so far will advance at full speed so that ASEAN can confident, confidently play its rightful role as a global, global player contributing to the economic growth and prosperity. Thank you. Dear Mr. President, thank you very much for this insightful speech you just gave us. And may I ask Mr. President to remain on the stage for the photo session? I would like now to invite the National ASEAN Business Advisory Council heads for the photo session with Mr. President on the stage. And there's going to be another session with the Philippine awardees later.